What is up guys my name is Talha and you're watching Gadgets Sphere in today's video i'm going to tell you how to install the best gcam for the Poco X3 Pro now this is my Poco X3 Pro it has a 48 megapixel main camera and i'm also going to tell you how to install that so this is the gcam now yes the icon is not looking like gcam but if i will open you will get to know that it is indeed gcam and this is actually the best gcam available for the poco x3 pro it can give you some great quality of results as you guys can see now this is a selfie portrait which i have taken from this gcam and yes it looks fantastic the detailing is very good in my face and even on my clothes so yeah the gcam doesn't only good take good detailing in the face it also takes good detailing in the you know in also in the clothes and also look at the background blur how good the background blur actually looks overall i am very impressed by how good the image is so now how to download this gcam for your poco x3 pro now there are many ways to download a gcam and basically everybody knows that this smartphone has a snapdragon 860 which is very powerful so the best way i would tell you is go in chrome and once chrome is open search here gcam okay just search gcam apk don't search anything advanced like 8.3 or anything just search gcam apk and tap on it now once you have searched this you have to scroll down now you if you try to install from play store this is the message you will get your device is not compatible with this version now this message will come every time when you will try to download via this method now what you can do is as i already told go in chrome okay in chrome there is a site which is called this site okay this is called celso zevido now this is celso zevido.com just tap on it now this site has gcam port from all the developers okay it is from every de developer like arnova bsg and every developer they can now which uh, is the best version for the poco x3 pro as i told you in this video i'm going to tell you the best version so the best version is this bsg mode okay just tap on bsg and disable the ad or just cross the ad and here you will get many versions literally like there are thousands of 8.1 version okay there are many many 8.1 versions then we also have this 5.1 6.1 okay so there are many versions now what you have to download is don't download the latest one okay it is not going to work 8.3.2.5 is very bad don't download this now you can download this one the one i'm using right now is from this so just tap on this the second one this is the version i have just clicked on now from this version you have to download the first version okay the snap.apk version so just tap on this uh, okay just tap on the snap.apk and now once you tap on this you will see it is saying it is downloading now you can see it is downloading the gcam now i have also downloaded 90 fps config but this does not work so that's a problem and yeah this is how the gcam will be downloaded and then after downloading i have already downloaded this version so i'm just going to cross this and i'm going to tell you what you have to do after downloading so what you have to do after downloading is let me just uh, do it in a very good way that you will also understand just clear the data of the gcam and now you will understand from the beginning so what you have to do after installing the gcam this is how the icon will look if it doesn't look like this doesn't matter because it's the, just the icon just tap on your gcam and once you start it will ask you many permissions so just press on while using the app while using the app while using the app three times and then allow okay now it will show you some links don't go to any of these links because it might crash your device just press on done swipe down and you will see there are a bunch of options now there are few settings which are very important and everyone has to do that now let me just decrease the brightness i think it is uh, having a bit of issue for uh, in with the camera now now you have to go in global okay go in global in global you have to do your smartphone to xiaomi okay there are many smartphones here but you have to do to xiaomi just press on xiaomi in interface style you have to select pixel 5 okay now why i'm saying that because pixel 5 if you press the interface style as pixel 5 the photo quality actually improves it is it tries to apply pixel 5's new alg algorithms instead of pixel 4's so just press on pixel 5 and yes the whole punch will have an issue here but doesn't matter i will tell you later what is the issue now in this jpeg compression press on this and do it to 100 percent now there is no difference in terms of 95 to 100 but i prefer 100 because yes 100 is just a little better in terms of overall compression now once that is 100 what you have to do is you have to again scroll down and you will find an option called auto night side as you guys can see this is the option and once you get this option just enable this okay so this is auto night side working 
now once that is done don't enable focus tracking and motion photos don't enable these options and also don't enable digital zoom because this will disable the ability to switch between modules and modules here basically means the different cameras of the poco x3 pro so don't enable that now what you have to do is go back okay now in modules i'm going to tell you one thing that is the macro camera doesn't work that good so you can do is this is the, the 0.9 here is the macro camera so what i prefer doing is just disabling this lens now many people don't uh, you know want to disable then obviously you can use but yes for me micro camera is not that important that is why i'm disabling this lens now go back now this 0.9 is disabled now you have to press on 0. Point, uh, okay you have to now go and press on 0. 0.6 now what is this 0. 0.6 it is the main ultra wide angle camera okay it is not the main camera it is the ultra wide angle camera so now here go in the model and again as i told you select pixel 5 so select on pixel 5 and here the frames sdr this is the most important thing go here and write 20 now to be honest i have tested many things like from 48 to 5 and 20 is the best sweet spot it doesn't take too much time and it also doesn't give a bad quality image so just press on 20 and once you have pressed on 20 just go back and yes one more thing i want to tell you never test this merge option like i earlier used to go here and tap on three but what happens is it takes a lot of time in image processing and there's practically no difference so just do it to 20 and this model to pixel 5 and go back now tap on the back 1.0 lens here also select the model to pixel 5 and here select the frames sdr per enhance to 20 as i told you now go back okay now if you want to check uh, in now you have you can even check from here like this now you have to go in the front camera in the front camera also do the model to pixel 5 and do the frames sdr to 20 okay now these are the things which you need to do to get the best quality of image never even test the exposure to be honest because yeah if the if the photo is underexposed don't worry you will be getting a good you know photo in the outer result now what you have to do is you have to scroll all the way down and there uh, there will be an option of 4k 60 fps now these stabilization options doesn't work so you can disable all of these now what the the best thing which works is 4k at 60 fps works so you can even record videos of 4k at 60 fps which is really amazing and here you can also uh, press on focus tracking video this is also very good and video resolution of the front camera should be 1080p okay don't do it to 720 it won't look good now in grid okay in grid tap on golden ratio this is the best but if you want to tap on 4 is to 4 you can do that as well so i'm going to tap on 4 is to 4 now i'm going to advance i'm going to do all the settings at once now in advance this show dirty lens warning doesn't actually just uh, do anything so you can enable this normally it doesn't matter show and press on this option sdr plus control okay this is very important and here also press on activate sdr net okay this is also a very very important option and here also this option now you can also remove this option the sdr net as i told you it is very important but if you are enabling the first option that is sdr plus control then you don't need the active hdr net but if you are not enabling this hdr net and like the but if you are enabling this hdr net then you don't need the hdr control okay so after all of this just press on the use third party gallery now this will basically use your mi gallery to show the images now everything is set up just go back one more time and you will see a complete different gcam now remember i told you that you might face an issue now what is that issue let me just tell you now to enable to assess that you can see there is a top you know dot kind of thing that is actually the pixel 5's menu you cannot tap on that to assess okay you can but it will be like you are rubbing your camera so just swipe down and you will be assessing all these options and in also these options i'm going to tell you a few things which are very important first of all press on hdr plus enhanced okay don't use hdr because we have done so many things for the enhanced so we are going to use enhanced now in google auto white balance now there's one thing if you're trying to take a photo of a light which is like you know very yellow or it is very blue then disable this option because this tries to correct that but if you're trying to take off normal object every day to day object then google auto white balance is very important that's why you need this now in terms of the in terms of night mode you can do it to auto and here raw plus jpeg do it to jpeg okay disable raw because raw doesn't work actually that well now raw does work but it takes so much image size and all of that stuff so now after all of this is done 
you can see and you can take some good quality images now the same will up be applied to the ultra wide angle camera automatically so you don't need to worry as you guys can see everything is applied to the ultra wide angle camera now in terms of the front camera now as you guys can see this is the front camera right this is the front camera and in terms of the front camera you can still apply all of those settings as you already told you so let me just try to okay yeah let me just try to show you here do the face retouching to smooth sdr enhance google auto white balance to auto here you can enable because yes it does work and then the night sight uh, to be normal jpeg only and that is it now the front camera will also work the back camera will also work so there will be no problems in terms of taking images very good quality images with the gcam so that is pretty much it for today's video and if you guys want a full gcam versus stock camera video tell me in the comments below everything works from portrait mode to night sight and even the panorama things work and yes the slow motion does work so everything actually works in this poco x3 pro the latest gcam so you don't even need to worry about that and that's pretty much it for today's video what do you think about this video tell me in the comments below and that's pretty much it thanks for watching catch you in the next one peace out